What's going on everybody? This video we are going to continue building our little guessing game. So let's first talk briefly about the sponsor of this video which is Embarcadero C++ Builder. They've been supporting this channel for quite a long time. If you want to support the channel as well, please do me a favor and check out the link down below. You can get started with their Community Edition IDE for free. So this is actually going to be a video on two real topics. The first being creating a guessing game and the second being loops. So we're going to be using a while loop, which we haven't talked about yet. And basically, if you want something to happen multiple times, that's where a loop is going to come in. So not only do we want them to guess a number once, but we want them to be able to guess it multiple times, depending on how many guesses they have. So to do this, after we define the correct answer, and we'll talk about getting a random number here soon, probably in the next video, but for now, we are going to assume that it is a random number just to check the functionality of the game. So like many structures, we will start with parentheses and then curly braces. Now I'm going to take this closing curly brace and move it to after all of the other code. I don't want the return false inside of the curly brace. So basically if they've guessed it multiple times in the loop and they end up running out of attempts, then we will return false. Now inside of the parentheses, we will have an expression that evaluates to true or false, very similar to an if statement, but this section inside of the parentheses will execute every single time as long as that expression evaluates to true. So what we'll do is we'll say guess count and we will keep track of this. We'll just define it to start with zero. So int guess count is zero. And while this number is less than guesses, we will execute this code. Now this looks pretty good. However, there is a really big problem, but let's go ahead and run it and see what happens. Do you wanna play a game? Yes. How you beat the game? Doesn't matter. Let's go with yes. It says we get one guess. We guess it, we get it wrong. Oh, but you can see we continually can guess for the correct number. It has no concept of progressing towards the completion of the loop. This is kind of a bad example because we only are supposed to have one guess. But if we went through this again with, say, five guesses, in this situation, it should count down. So you have five guesses, we guess a number, and it should say you get four guesses, and keep doing that until we run out of guesses. So we've come pretty far, but there's one more thing we have to do, and that is increment or increase the guess count by one. So you can do that with plus plus. That'll take whatever guess count is and add one to it. You can think of it as guess count is assigned guess count plus one. This will evaluate to some value and then be reassigned to the original guess count. It's just a shorthand way of doing that and it's uh, pretty common so you should get used to this syntax which actually quick note you can also do guess count plus equals one that'll increment it by one as well this gives you more flexibility to increase it by any amount but still the plus plus is most common that's what we're most likely going to be doing for this example after we increment guess count we can output how many times they've guessed so you've guessed, close the parentheses, guess count, forgot a less than symbol, and then times. And we'll just put a new line there and end the quote. This one up here where it says you get guesses, guesses, we can just take this line and move it outside of the loop because we don't need to say that every single time. We only need to tell them how many guesses they have once. So this is just a better setup. Let's run this and test it out. Do you want to play? Yes. Have you beat the game? No. Medium gives us five guesses. Guess the number? Four. You've guessed one time. Three. You've guessed two times. Seventy. Three times. Fifty. Four times. And then six. And the game ends. At any time, if we get the correct answer, it should stop. Let's try it out. We will go for the same setup. So no, we have not beat the game and we want medium. Let's go ahead and get it wrong a few times and then we'll get it correct, 42, and it says congrats, you won. That's because it returns true 
which breaks out of this function and goes back to the main code. At this point, you should have a decent understanding of how the while loop works, but I wanted to share a system that I've used that has always helped me make sure I get all of the pieces right. And that is the phrase, I see you. So these are the three pieces of a loop. You will have the initialization, the comparison or condition, and the update. Basically, if you think about those in less technical terms, where are we starting, where are we ending, and how are we getting from the start position to the end position? In this case, we initialize to zero, we compare guess count to guesses, and then we update guess count by one. When you learn about other loop structures, such as the for loop, the concept is going to be very similar. The syntax is just going to be a little different. So if you don't have any of these things, it's not going to work the way you expect. The most common problem is forgetting that update so you never actually move closer to the finish line. Or if the condition will never be true, the loop will never run. Or if the condition is always true, such as greater than or equal to, zero, which by the way, this is how you say greater than or equal to, and zero. It doesn't matter what guess count is in this situation, we still have an infinite loop because we start at zero, so it's already true, and as we increment guess count, it's still going to always be true, which I wanted to give you a quick tip because I am assuming many of you watching this managed to mess something up, and you created an infinite loop that is executing very quickly. If, for example, you do not have a console in, and you have some condition or a messed up update, you will have some terminal spam, where when we play this, you can see it's just, it's just doing its thing. It's going to just end up probably crashing your computer at some point. The trick to get out of this is control C. So hold control, hit C, close out of that, and you're good to go. That is the fundamentals of the guessing game. In the next video, we're going to talk about how we actually generate a random number so that this is a game we can actually play. Right now, we know the number, so it's not very fun. It might be fun to go show our friend, or I mean, if you have any friends. <laughs> it might be fun to show this to somebody else, but it's not gonna be very fun if we can't play it ourselves. So let's go ahead and update this code to include a random number. Check out the next episode and be sure to subscribe.